Hey guys, so today I will be reviewing the Jack Specific Wave 3 2.5 inch Motobug figure. So I've actually been really excited about reviewing this one because of the wheel that's on him. I can't wait to see how that works. On the back here, you can see all the other figures you can collect in the set. Um, if I can get it to focus here. There's Classic Sonic, Spinning Tails, Metal Sonic, and Gold Chow. I already reviewed Classic Sonic, so if you haven't checked out that review, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a pretty good figure, if I do say so myself. And Gold Chow, I will be reviewing soon. I have the figure. Don't worry, that review will be coming out. And as far as uh, the spinning tails and metal sonic goes, uh, I don't think I'll be picking those up. So up here, it says that he has two points of articulation. And the description right here reads, The Motobug will roll around and try to attack Sonic with its sharp claws. So hopefully Sonic grabs some rings. And right here, it says, Le Motobug fonds sur Sonic. Alright guys, I'm just messing around. I don't speak Chinese. So anyways, let's get right into the review. So here he is, my new favorite 2.5 inch figure. Yeah, I'm saying it now, this has to be my favorite 2.5 inch figure they made so far. It's just, it's so perfect. So you can see he has two points of articulation in his arms. They swivel all around. Which is a kind of unique articulation that you don't see on all the Jax figures. Some of them, they'll just go like up or down or left and right. And I actually like his articulation, so that's very cool. He does kind of move some of his other parts, like uh, maybe a little bit right here. His antennas move a little bit, but that's not really articulation. I, I wouldn't, they don't consider articulation, so I'm not going to consider articulation. And you could also count the wheel as articulation because look, it actually rolls, which is something that I find very cool. All right, he may not roll well because it's one wheel, but it's still a neat touch. So let's get a closer look at some of the details here. A very nice and detailed figure. It has a hole in the bottom for play sets and the stand right here, which I will show off in a minute. You can see some of the details in his eyes. The paint job is really good on it, like most Jax figures are. Uh, I do have a little bit of a problem uh, right here with the arm. I don't know if that's on everybody's or just mine, but it's not that noticeable. You can see a little vent or whatever that is right there. And then you have the screws right here. I don't know if they just decided, eh, he's a robot, so let's just make the screws noticeable or not. I don't know why they did that, but it's all right. And here's the stand that Motobug comes with. This is greatly appreciated considering the fact that if you just try to stand him on his own, it doesn't really work. So you just find the hole in the bottom of the wheel, uh, stick it to the stand, and boom, you got a motobug figure that you can display. It doesn't work on the other side just because the shape of this doesn't fit like that. See, it has to be on this side. Uh, Yeah, that's the, probably the first Jack Specific Sonic figure to ever come with a stand. And I'm interested to see if they'll do this with any other figures. Honestly, I kind of wish they did what Jazzwares did where every figure came with a stand because that would help with characters like uh, 4 Inch Sonic who are extremely hard to stand. Now is the part of the video where I compare the figure to other figures in the line and see how well it proportions with other characters. So here's Motobug next to the 2.5 inch Classic Sonic and it looks all right. Now here's Motobug with the four inch Eggman. And I gotta say, I don't like the size comparisons between those two. I mean, Eggman should be a whole lot taller. That's kind of the problem that Eggman runs into with other characters in the line, but oh well. And just like with every other figure that's been in the line so far, Mighty, of course, does not compare well to them as far as size goes. He just looks like too giant for the Motobug figure. And lastly, here are the two four inch Sonic figures. This is wave one, this is wave two. And like most of the other figures that have been coming out recently, I gotta say, I like how wave two Sonic compares as far as height goes a little bit better than wave one. So there you have it, 10 out of 10 figure. They did everything they were trying to do with the figure and excelled at it.
just just a great figure overall. So stay tuned for next time where I'll be reviewing Gold Chow, and I'll see you all in the next video.